Let's continue in the tafsir of Surah An-Nisa. We are on Ayah 74. And the author says, starting with the word of God Almighty, أَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ فَلْيُقَاتِلْ فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ الَّذِينَ يَشْرُونَ الْحَيَاةَ الدُّنْيَا بِالْآخِرَةِ If those whose hearts are sick, the hypocrites, and their intentions to fight are weak, if they turn away, then let fight in the way of Allah, for the sake of Allah, those sincere firm ones who sell the earthly life for the afterlife. Those are the believers being encouraged to be steadfast in battle. If it means, so let fight in the way of Allah those who buy the earthly life of the afterlife, the afterlife that they were promised if they sincerely believe, then this command for those to fight for the sake of Allah is an admonishment, yani it's a scolding of the hypocrites. And it's an encouragement for the hypocrites to change their intentions and to worship sincerely, including fighting for the sake of Allah. And whoever fights in the way of Allah and is slain or victorious, we shall grant him a grand reward. The one who fights for the sake of Allah will not be a loser. Because even if he is martyred, then his reward is so grand that he's a winner. And if they win, then he's still a winner. This is what the kuffar lack. What are they fighting for? For blasphemy, for democracy, for not for the sake of Allah. وَمَا لَكُمْ لَا تُقَاتِلُونَ فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ وَالْمُسْتَضْعَفِينَ مِنَ الرِّجَالِ وَالنِّسَاءِ وَالْمُسْتَضْعَفِينَ مِنَ الرِّجَالِ وَالنِّسَاءِ وَالْوِلْدَانِ الَّذِينَ يَقُولُونَ And what is with you for not fighting in the way of Allah? What's wrong with you for not fighting, Yani, if you don't fight? in the way of Allah, and not rescuing the powerless among the men, women, and children. <laughs> Those who supplicate, our Lord, bring us out of this town whose people are oppressors. Their persecution was so severe that it even befell their children. These are Muslims detained in Mecca. So what do those powerless men, women, and children say? رَبَّنَا أَخْرِجِنَا مِنْ هَذِهِ الْقَرْيَةِ الظَّالِمِ أَهْلُهَا Our Lord, bring us out of this town whose people are oppressors. وَجِعَلْ لَنَا مِنْ لَدُنْكَ وَلِيَّا and give us from yourself a guardian. And give us from yourself a defender. That guardian and helper was the Prophet ﷺ. The Prophet who conquered Mecca in the best way and then appointed Attab as a governor. الذين آمنوا يقاتلون في سبيل الله. Those who believed fight in the way of Allah. They fight for the sake of Allah. والذين كفروا والذين كفروا يقاتلون في سبيل الطاغوت. And those who disbelieved fight in the way of the devil for the sake of the devil. They are his cohorts, and they are his minions. Therefore, fight against the accomplices of the devil, the blasphemers, or believers. 
إن كيد الشيطان كان ضعيفا. Surely the devil's scheme is weak. His whispers. They are weak. يعني really you gotta fall for the whispers of the devil. He doesn't really come with something that's strong. Rather, he just comes with uh, something customized for you, each individual. If that devil uh, is coming at you with what he thinks or knows works on you. Otherwise, his whispers are weak. And the fact is that you have to fall for it. You know that term, you fall for it, you fell for it. When it comes to the schemes, the whispers of the devil, you have to fall for them. And Imam al Nasifi mentioned in his tafsir that some of the scholars said, I fear the women more than I fear the devil. Because while Allah says about the devil, this ayah here, Inna kayda shaytani kana da'ifa. Surely the devil's scheme is weak. He says about the women, Inna kayda kunna azim. Indeed, your scheme, the scheme of the women, is enormous, not weak. Alam tara ila al-lazina qila lahum kuffu aydiyakum wa aqimu salata wa atu zakah. Do you not know of those who wanted to fight their oppressors in Mecca? Those to whom it was said, withhold your hands from fighting the blasphemers. Yani, stand down and observe the prayer and pay the zakah. فَلَمَّا كُتِبَ عَلَيْهِمُ الْقِتَالُ إِذَا فَرِيقٌ مِّنْهُمْ يَخْشَوْنَ النَّاسِ إِذَا فَرِيقٌ مِّنْهُمْ يَخْشَوْنَ النَّاسَ كَخَشْيَةِ اللَّهِ إِذَا فَرِيقٌ مِّنْهُمْ يَخْشَوْنَ النَّاسَ كَخَشْيَةِ اللَّهِ أَوْ أَشَدَّ خَشْيَةً and when fighting was prescribed for them in Medina, suddenly a group of them from natural aversion to death fear the torture of people. Like they fear the torture of Allah, they fear the torture of people like they fear the torture of Allah, or with even greater fear. Yani, do you know about those, O Muhammad? And they said, without objection, Our Lord, for what wisdom have you ordained fighting for us? Had only you granted us delay to a near end, and then let us die upon our beds. Question, the statement, the scheme of the women is enormous. Is that from the Qur'an? Yeah, that's from the Qur'an. That's Surat Yusuf. That's what Potiphar said to his wife after she tried to frame Yusuf. <laughs> Say, O Muhammad, the enjoyment of this world is little. Yani, it is fleeting, it's temporary, and the afterlife is better for who fears the punishment of God. And you shall not be wronged the amount of a strand in the crevice of a date stone. You shall not be wronged the amount of a strand in the crevice of a date stone. أَيْنَمَا تَكُونُوا يُدْرِكُمُ الْمَوْتِ Wherever you are, death will catch you. وَلَوْ كُنْتُمْ فِي بُرُوجٍ مُشَيَّدَةٍ Even if you are in towering fortresses, so do not dread fighting for fear of death. وَإِن تُصِبْهُمْ حَسَنَةٌ يَقُولُوا هَذِهِ مِنْ عِنْدِ اللَّهِ 
And if a blessing like prosperity and wealth comes to the Jews and pagans, they praise God and say, this is from Allah. That's similar to what's in Surah Al-Fajr. Yeah. As for the human, if his Lord tests him by endowing upon him, then he would say, my Lord has honored me. Because he sees that Allah has bestowed upon him, he says, God loves me. He made me rich. And if misfortune like famine and disaster befalls them, they say, this is due to the misfortune that you bring, Muhammad. Yani, it's your fault, Muhammad. This is due to your misfortune. Because Allah Ta'ala, he punished them with famine. Respond, Muhammad. All good and evil is from Allah. It is all created by Allah. So how astonishing. What is the matter with these people? They can hardly understand something said to them. They say, whatever hits you of blessing, it is from Allah. وَمَا أَصَابَكَ مِنْ سَيِّئَةٍ فَمِنْ نَفْسِكَ And whatever misfortune befalls you, it is from yourself. وَأَرُسَلْنَاكَ لِلنَّاسِ رَسُولًا And we have sent you, Muhammad, to mankind as a messenger. وَكَفَى بِاللَّهِ شَهِيدًا وَكَفَى بِاللَّهِ شَهِيدًا and sufficient is Allah as a witness that you are his messenger. Uh, now notice something here. So if we back up to Ayah 78, Allah Ta'ala says, وَإِن تُصِبِهُمْ حَسَنَةٌ يَقُولُوا هَذِهِ مِنْ عِنْدِ اللَّهِ If a blessing comes to them, they say, this is from Allah. وَإِن تُصِبِهُمْ سَيِّئَةٌ يَقُولُوا هَذِهِ مِنْ عِنْدِكَ And if misfortune befalls them, they say, this is due to the misfortune that you bring, Muhammad. Okay, so that's what they say. When they found themselves in prosperity, they said, this is from God. And they would say, for example, God loves us. And when they found themselves in disaster, in calamity, in famine, because they wouldn't believe in their prophet, and so Allah punished them, then they say, this is due to the misfortune that you bring, O Muhammad. So that's what they say. So Allah refutes them. <laughs> Respond, Muhammad, all good and evil is from Allah. Everything is from Allah as a creation. فَمَا لِهَاؤُلَاءِ الْقَوْمِ لَا يَكَادُونَ يَفْقَهُونَ حَدِيثًا So how astonishing! What's the matter with those people? They can hardly understand something said to them. So they are obviously dispraised here. And what they said in this ayah has been rejected. That's the meaning of قُلْ كُلٌ مِنْ عِنْدِ اللَّهِ that's the response to what they said when they said uh, they would say if a blessing comes to them this is from Allah and if the misfortune befalls them they say this is your fault Muhammad so this here Allah refutes that and he says Qul kullun min say everything is from Allah Say everything is from Allah, meaning it's not what you say. The case is not as you say. 
if misfortune befalls them, then this is due to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And then the next ayah says, مَا أَصَابَكَ مِنْ مَا أَصَابَكَ مِنْ حَسَنَةٍ فَمِنَ اللَّهِ Whatever hit you of blessing, it is from Allah. وَمَا أَصَابَكَ مِنْ سَيِّئَةٍ فَمِنْ نَفْسِكَ And whatever misfortune befalls you, it is from yourself. Now it looks like right here that this part of the ayah confirms exactly what was just refuted. After the refutation came some words that are repeating what was just refuted as if it's confirming what was just refuted. Uh, so what does it mean, the Shaykh taught us? It means, يَقُولُونَ They say, whatever hit you of blessing is from Allah, and whatever misfortune befalls you, it is from yourself. So what's that? That is, حِكَايَةٌ مُقَدَّرَةٌ حِكَايَةٌ مُقَدَّرَةٌ Yani, it's an implied citation. An implied citation. This happens sometimes. When the Shaykh talked about citing another person's blasphemy, so to save yourself from blasphemy, you would say, for example, he said Jesus is God. So by virtue of saying he said, you protected yourself from blasphemy. Here in this section, the Shaykh didn't mention in his books, not any books that I'm aware of, that there is something called a, an estimated hikaya. It means that the meaning of the statement is they say, but it doesn't say they say. This is very important for you. Because some of you, it's like you're always on the verge of blasphemy. And you quote everything, everyone, anyone who doesn't quote something, you ask if he committed kufr. And you, you, you write, they say, and you tape it to your television. So you're not familiar, probably, with an estimated citation. But a simple example of it for you is, in the case where someone posed the question, what do the Christians say? And then someone says, Jesus is the Son of God. So this one who says, Jesus is the Son of God, does he blaspheme here for saying a statement of blasphemy? The statement that he said, it's a subject and a predicate, this complete sentence. He said, Jesus is the Son of God. That's definitely shirk and blasphemy. So this person, he committed blasphemy? Not in this case. Because the meaning of his answer is, they say Jesus is the Son of God, but they say is missing. And this is valid. So what's happening here is like, imagine you were talking to someone who was saying something ridiculous. And he said to you, when I get some money, I'm going to pay you back. And then you, in your frustration and anger with this person and being fed up with this person you say when i get some money i'm gonna pay you back so what did you do you repeated a statement it's like you say it's like you're saying you say such and such but you don't say it and there's a meaning behind your repeating a statement this way it has a rhetorical purpose so, مَا أَصَابَكَ مِنْ حَسَنَةٍ فَمِنَ اللَّهِ They say, whatever hits you of blessing, it is from Allah. وَمَا أَصَابَكَ مِنْ سَيِّئَةٍ فَمِنْ نَفْسِكَ And whatever misfortune befalls you, it is from yourself. This has another tafsir, but the shaykh says that this is the best tafsir. The best way to explain this ayah. 
وَأَرْسَلْنَاكَ لِلنَّاسِ رَسُولًا وَكَفَى بِاللَّهِ شَهِيدًا And we have sent you, Muhammad, to mankind as a messenger. وَكَفَى بِاللَّهِ شَهِيدًا And sufficient is Allah as a witness that you are his messenger, O Muhammad. مَنْ يُطِعِ الرَّسُولَ فَقَدْ أَطَاعَ اللَّهِ Whoever obeyed the messenger has obeyed Allah. وَمَنْ تَوَلَّا فَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ عَلَيْهِمْ حَفِيظًا And whoever turns away from the obedience, then do not be sad, Muhammad. We have not sent you over them as a keeper. وَيَقُولُونَ طَاعَةً And the hypocrites say, our stance is obedience to you. Double, cross, double crossers. فَإِذَا بَرَزُوا مِنْ عِنْدِكَ بَيَّةَ طَائِفَةٌ مِّنْهُمْ غَيْرَ الَّذِي تَقُولُ But when they leave your presence, a party of them falsify at night what is different from what you say, Muhammad. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. وَيَقُولُونَ طَاعَةٌ They say obedience to you. فَإِذَا بَرَزُوا مِنْ عِنْدِكَ بَيَّةَ طَائِفَةٌ مِّنْهُمْ غَيْرَ الَّذِي تَقُولُ But when they leave your presence, a party of them falsify at night what is different from what you say. صلى الله عليه وسلم وَاللَّهُ يَكْتُبُ مَا وَاللَّهُ يَكْتُبُ وَاللَّهُ يَكْتُبُ مَا يُبَيِّتُونَ and the scribes of Allah write what they falsify at night. فَأَعْرِضْ عَنْهُمْ وَتَوَكَّلْ عَلَى اللَّهِ So disregard them and rely on Allah. وَكَفَى بِاللَّهِ وَكِيلًا And sufficient is Allah to rely upon. أَفَلَا يَتَدَبَّرُونَ الْقُرْآنِ do they not contemplate on the Qur'an and its lofty meanings? وَلَوْ كَانَ مِنْ عِنْدِ غَيْرِ اللَّهِ لَوَجَدُوا فِيهِ اخْتِلَافًا كَثِيرًا And had it been from other than Allah, they would have found in it much discrepancy, abundant contradictions. وَإِذَا جَاءَهُمْ أَمْرٌ مِّنَ الْأَمْرِ وَالْخَوْفِ أَذَاعُوا بِهِ And when there comes to them news of security, يعني, the news of victory, or the news of fear, meaning defeat, they spread it. وَلَوْ رَدُّوهُ إِلَى الرَّسُولِ وَإِلَىٰ أُولِي الْأَمْرِ مِنْهُمْ لَعَلِمَهُ الَّذِينَ يَسْتَنْبِطُونَهُ لَعَلِمَهُ الَّذِينَ يَسْتَنْبِطُونَهُ مِنْهُمْ And had they left it to the messenger and to those in authority among them to spread it or not, it would have been known by those who can extract the judgment from it among them. Extracting the judgment is in reference to mujtahids, but they're not called mujtahids right here. Says, Yastam bitunahu minhum walau radduhu ila rasuli wa ila ulil amri minhum la alimahu ladina yastam bitunah. لَعَلِيمَهُ الَّذِينَ يَسْتَنْبِطُونَهُ مِنْهُمْ And had they left it to the messenger and to those in authority amongst them to spread it or not, had they left it to them, to the authorities to spread it or not, لَعَلِيمَهُ الَّذِينَ يَسْتَنْبِطُونَهُ مِنْهُمْ So had they left the issue to the messenger and to those who are in charge of the Muslims' affairs. So, وَإِذَا جَاءَهُمْ وَإِذَا جَاءَهُمْ أَمْرٌ مِّنَ الْأَمْرِ 
وَإِذَا جَاءَهُمْ أَمْرٌ مِنَ الْأَمْنِ أَوْ الْخَوْفِ أَذَاعُوا بِهِ And when there comes to them news of security, victory, or fear, defeat, they spread it. Who, the Muslims who lack wisdom do that. Or it's the hypocrites who do that. Muslims who lack wisdom, they spread anything. They just open any message and send it and share it and say it. SubhanAllah. And the hypocrites too. وَلَوْ رَدُّوهُ إِلَى الرَّسُولِ وَإِلَىٰ أُولِي الْأَمْرِ مِنْهُمْ لَعَلِمَهُ الَّذِينَ يَسْتَنْبِطُونَهُ مِنْهُمْ And had they left it to the messenger and to those in authority amongst them to spread it or not, it would have been known by those who can extract the judgment from it. So this ayah is about the mujtahids, but doesn't mention mujtahids, mentions a different word. وَلَوْلَا فَضْلُ اللَّهِ عَلَيْكُمْ وَرَحْمَتُهُ لَاتَّبَعْتُمُ الشَّيْطَانَ إِلَّا قَلِيلًا And were it not for Islam and the generosity of Allah upon you, the Qur'an, and his mercy, you would have certainly followed the bidding of the devil except a few. But let me stop here, inshaAllah ta'ala. Do you have any question I can answer for you? He said, when it is said that the Jews and pagans say, this is from Allah, are they saying that exactly, or are they saying it's from who they believe is God? Uh, think about it like the Christians. Don't the Christians have some bad belief in the Creator? They talk about Trinity, and they talk about God's Son, and all of whatever they say, but they just do say God whenever they talk. They say, God, God is the Creator. Praise God. So they say God. And in their hearts, they mean something. So it's like that. If that's it, then let's stop here. Subhanaka Allahumma wa bihamdik. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk.